Hello, I'm Curtis Dykstra, Parks Naturalist with the Ottawa County Parks Nature Center at Hemlock Crossing County Park. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we'll be going on a virtual bird walk here at Grand River Park. Grand River Park is one of my favorite places to go birding because it is rich in bird life, both in migration and for nesting. This is because there are a wide variety of habitats supporting a high diversity of bird species. These habitats include lake, wet shrubby meadow, upland forest, meadow, and bottomland forest. I hope to visit them all and highlight the nesting and migratory species found in each habitat along the way. Before I had even left the parking area, I spotted this migratory Cape May warbler foraging and flitting in the branches of this flowering tree. First, we'll be birding along this pathway. It follows along the wetland margins at the edge of a lake. Birds that I hope to find along this section of the path are American Redstart, Baltimore Oriole, Willow Flycatcher, Warbling Vireo, and many others. I hear a Warbling Vireo. Let's see if we can spot him. He's way high in the tree canopy. This bird wouldn't sit still long enough to view very well, but you can hear it repeating its wavery, warbly song. I hear an American red start singing in the brush this way. Listen for him to sing a tsi 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 tio. There it was. I've got an orchard oriole singing in the top of the tree over here. The orchard oriole is a more southern species of oriole that has become more common in our area in recent years. It's chestnut colored as opposed to orange and is a little bit smaller. It prefers orchards and meadow edges for its habitat. I hear a Tennessee warbler singing in the treetops above. He has kind of a three-syllabled chipping song. There he was. He's very loud and oftentimes can be heard in wooded urban neighborhoods. My next stop on this birding walk is the wet, shrubby meadow. It is one of the muddiest locations at the park, especially in spring, so be prepared with rubber boots as you don't want to miss the often productive birding spot here at Grand River Park. I hope to find species such as blue wing warbler, yellow warbler, gray catbird, common yellow throat, alder flycatcher, and possibly morning warbler or olive-sided flycatcher, if we're lucky. There's a flurry of yellow warbler activity in the brush over this way. There must be at least half a dozen of them chasing each other around, singing, and chipping at each other. Listen for the males singing a high-pitched and very rapid, sweet, sweet, I'm so sweet, True to form, 
This wet meadow is producing a lot of birds, including this blue wing warbler, who gave us a show by sitting out on the branch and singing for us while it foraged. This warbler sings a fun and very recognizable bee buzz. Here in the thickets of this wet meadow, it can be difficult to see birds because it's so thick off in the brush. But that's why it's so important to learn bird songs. So some of what we'll be experiencing today will be heard only. See if you can hear them with me. Suddenly, deep in the thicket, I heard the song of a morning warbler. After giving it my best to get a look at this uncommon and very elusive species, I decided to just enjoy listening to it sing before finally moving on. There's a least flycatcher singing in the brush over here. Listen for Chebec, Chebec. It's the least of all the flycatcher songs. Listen for the alder flycatcher singing from the thickets back there. He says, free beer? As I neared the edge of the wet meadow, where it borders the upland forest habitat of the Acadian flycatcher, I had the rare opportunity to get both the alders' free beer and the Acadian's pizza at the same time. This is exemplary of how Ottawa County is where northern species, such as the alder flycatcher, meet southern species, such as the Acadian. Coming up out of the low, wet meadow, we're now going to venture into the upland forest, where it's a little drier. There should be a new abundance of birds in this habitat as well. Not only that, but there's also some nice wildflowers that we'll take a look at too. There's a scarlet tanager singing in the treetops in this direction. He sounds like a robin with a sore throat. One of the most common treetop songsters of our deciduous woodlands is the red-eyed vireo. We've got one singing here right now. Let me tell you what it sounds like. He says little short phrases with pauses between. Here I am. There I go. Red-eyed vireo. There was a great crested flycatcher singing at the same time. Pree, 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 pree.
and the squirrel isn't happy we're here either. Lucky for us, right after the red-eyed vireo, there's a yellow-throated vireo singing in the treetops. Let's see if we can help you tell the difference. He sings phrases with pauses just like the red-eyed vireo. However, it sounds like he's got a burrier voice and he's a little slower. The chirping sound that we hear off on the hillside over this way is actually not a bird, although it often is confused for one. It's the chirping call of the chipmunk. Another bird synonymous with the upland forest is the eastern wood peewee. We hear one singing in this direction. Listen for it to sing pia wee with a long pause and then peer just like you heard there. We are now exiting the forest and entering the meadow. This bright sunny habitat has a new variety of birds. Birds that we could be looking for are field sparrow, song sparrow, indigo bunting, eastern kingbird, tree swallow, and more. We're getting stunning views of this indigo bunting while he sings. Listen close and you'll hear paired phrases. Fire, fire, quick, quick, put it out, put it out. You might associate blue with water and water to put out a fire. Fire, fire, quick, quick, put it out, put it out. its name, we've got a field sparrow singing in this direction at the edge of the meadow, or field. He sounds like a ping pong ball bouncing. These tree swallows are dive bombing a red winged blackbird that seems to have gotten a little too close to their nest box. Due to recent rain and flooding on the Grand River, the bottomland forest ended up being a bit too much bottomland for me to handle today. We'll have to visit the swampy margins of the Grand River Channel for a new variety of birds on another day. Thanks for tuning in today. 
I hope you've enjoyed joining me for a virtual bird walk here at Grand River Park. Here's a complete list of the 57 species of birds I identified on my walk today. If you get out to enjoy the birds yourselves, just remember to practice proper social distancing. You can visit a local park or natural area or even just get outside in your own yard. A list of all 40 Ottawa County Parks properties can be found at miottawa.org parks. You can also visit us on Facebook and Instagram. Just search for Ottawa County Parks. Come join us again soon, and don't forget to share this video with a friend.